I was trying to think really hard about something that I could do outdoors, do with my hands and enjoy. I just had it in my head I'd be a jewellery designer. I didn't have a clue about jewellery. I wasn't even interested in jewellery at this point. But I was lucky enough to go to a night course in Guernsey. Within the first hour of being at that night course, I was totally and utterly hooked. I then went to college, stayed at college for four years, which again was very challenging because I wasn't actually that great. But when you're sat down and told to design a ring and you've never done it before in your life, it's actually quite a scary thing to do. Managed to do some great achievements, win some great awards, and then I came back to Guernsey to start my business. I think I first remember um, meeting Cathy at the very, very top of her mill. Uh, that was her design studio in those days, and my mother brought me up here. I was very impressed with what she was doing. I just thought she was a lovely person. To be honest, it's a miracle we're here today. It very nearly didn't happen. I decided that I wanted to make really high quality jewellery from the very minute I left college. Um, I ended up working seven days a week in this cheese shop from six in the morning till six at night. And then I would go upstairs and start making a few pieces of jewellery. I was brought up with this Guernsey windmill because it was in our back garden. We've actually spent 25 years, I have to say, renovating it and making it into what it is today. And I just think it lends itself to being a unique building that works with our unique jewellery. Walking into the showroom, I mean, it's a phenomenal place anyway, and um, the atmosphere here is quite relaxed. We've been here 10 years in Jersey, and we celebrated it with all our clients from the UK, Germany, and the Channel Islands. We've got a team of five, actually, in the workshop who are all fantastic fast people. We've got two apprentices, one, she was apprentice a year in Guernsey, and she also wiped the board at the Goldsmiths Craft Design Awards in London last year. I enjoy setting, diamond mounting, general makeups, just a whole variety. We're lucky in that we do do everything from start to finish here and that is, that is great. I started uh, when I was 15, I'm 49 now so you can do the maths. In 2009 I was passed as a fellow and uh, granted the title of Master Jeweller uh, with the Institute of Professional Goldsmiths. I was classically trained but when I came over here, we were using different gemstones. I've come across stones here I've, I've never heard of <laughs> or seen before. Um, and each stone has a different property, so you, you have to discover the hardness of the stone. Working in the UK, jewellery manufacturers tend to be very conservative. Whereas here, uh, Cathy does a lot of very modern designs. She can take a jewel and do something to it that it makes it move. This is a Pareba tourmaline. She had the stone in stock and she made three designs, three drawings, and I had to choose which one I preferred. Designs are different, the quality is there. You know you're not gonna walk down the street that somebody else is wearing. Every relationship's different. I mean, everybody is unique and every piece of jewellery that's designed for them is unique. It's just so beautifully made. You know it's a Catherine Best piece and it's, it has an amusement to it as well as all the colour. And like all her pieces, it's a work of art. It's, it's got her, her stamp on it, her name, but it's mine and, uh, and I love that. 